Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name is Katherine Young and I'm a creative. Well, this is actually Little Miss. Uh, <laughs> uh, and most mornings I start my mornings having kitty cats crawling all over me. This is my old lady, Little Miss. And this is her sister, Lily. Lily's a little stinker, but she's very pretty. And this vlog takes place over about a week or so. Um, this morning I am very, very stressed, so having the kitties helps. I've been packing and shipping all week. I go to work, I come home and ship. It's just been a lot. And I woke up anxious and stressed about shipping this morning. So it just, you know, it really, really helps to have the kitties to just snuggle uh, and just, you know, relax a little bit before I get going on the day. Today's outfit is pure comfort. Fleece pajama pants and a sweatshirt. I still have some orders to pack, so I am weighing the orders and getting the labels done. And then I have to go to multiple locations to do shipping. Um, I was really worried of how long the shipping would take me this morning. But as you can see, Lily is helping, so that's great. <laughs> I mean, does your cat really love you unless they stick their butt right in your face? I mean, I'm, I'm pretty sure that's the sign of real love from kitties, am I right? <laughs> I'm just done now packaging everything. And y'all, a lot of people ask me to do shipping videos to show them my space, but here's my space. Halloween decor is still up and it is a disaster. I have been going, 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 and my life is a disaster right now. This is why I'm so stressed. Um, I'm trying to get everything done and my space physically is a mess, but I have a helper. All these boxes I'm getting ready to take out, but as you can see, even my front door is chaos. There's soda pop, there's a shoe graveyard. It just, when you're trying to do as much as I try to do, a lot of the times the rest of your life becomes chaos. And you know, we expect YouTubers to show you everything, but sometimes everything isn't that glamorous. And I'm determined to fix that entryway, putting some coke away. I need to cut this thing up. But y'all, there should be two scissors with those scissor holders there and I have no idea where those scissors are. This is just where I'm at in life right now. <sighs> okay, so I have to go to USPS and UPS this morning. All these in the back. I have six or seven boxes still to ship out from a big sale. Um, and then I have to go pick up an auction lot. Um, I won some goodies for some vintage friends, so I'm excited about that. Um, but yeah, so I just, this morning has been stressful, but I am just determined to turn this day around. I'm determined to make this not a stressful day, um, but we'll see how it goes. All the things in the car. Okay. <laughs> oh, you know, I just realized that I was just in that the USPS post office. Uh, I just realized I left the house wearing slippers. Yeah, but we're far enough away from the house that I just kind of don't care. So I guess today we are running errands in slippers. <laughs> I mean, I'm wearing socks. It's not like horrible, horrible, but yeah. Yep, here I am walking in the snow in slippers. And it's not working so well. As you can see, my toes are covered in snow. 
Oh, God. So we are on the road. I bought something for a friend via auction, um, and it's about a 40-minute drive. And this is the auction house. We are here. Hello. Hello. <laughs> oh, Oh goodness. Oh goodness. Hi. Right next to the auction house is an antique store, so I am going to stop in. They have some goodies for the holiday all set out and ready. Not a bad price on that. Here's some fun things. This is a reproduction of an old Sears and Roebuck. Let's see how much they want for that. 38. And this is neat. I have never seen this tray before. Really cool. Love this piece. Isn't that just so cool? It feels very whimsical, very Alice in Wonderland. I found this piece. I'm gonna pick it up at $7.50. I really like it. Now this piece has been here for a long time, probably two years. This whole case here I love, but it doesn't turn out around that fast. A lot of the stuff has been here a long time. Um, so everything in here is absolutely my jam. I love it all, but Oh gosh, isn't it great? I think I'm gonna make an offer on that first piece. And I did make an offer and they accepted. So I'm picking up this, I'm picking up the Folgers tin and this box and it's a project. It needs to be restored. But look at the top, it has spider webs. That sealed the deal for me. Um, they took my offer of $35 and I think I got a great deal. And the seller gets to move something that I know has been in that store for at least two years. So it's a win-win for both of us. I'm just heading home now. Um, I always think these refineries just don't even look like they're from Earth. I'm doing some video editing now. It takes a long time to edit videos. I'm watching um, some of my edits while I eat some lunch. Got some soup. Oh, and here we go. The helper's back. <laughs> oh, goodness. I can, I tell you what, when I'm swamped, I can always count on a helper to come and hang out so um, she's <laughs> she's very good at helping <laughs> I tell you what though even when I'm stressed these kitties really do take my stress down um, I cannot imagine a life without pets I just can't they're just so helpful <laughs> There, she's all cuddled in, do you see? I'm not getting much editing done, but she's all cuddled in, yes. <laughs> her favorite spot is to sit on my shoulder, kind of like a parrot like that. That is her favorite thing to do. <laughs> what a sweetie. And I am still doing more editing um, on a video. And management is, you know, management is judging. <laughs> Work faster. <laughs> and now I am working on some cards that I made. I illustrated them off some vintage items. Um, I'm sending these to uh, friends in the vintage community. And I know no matter who I send them to, some people will say they're left out. I try to be as fair as possible, but someone's gonna be mad at me. And now I am grabbing items to send out as gifts. 
Um, I found this for a friend who collects the holly. Um, I picked up some notions for sewing for another friend. I got this in an auction lot. I think they'll be able to use them. And then this, this I've been meaning to get done for a friend. <laughs> Lily's helping as you can see. And I just, I don't really like Hello Kitty, so I haven't been inspired by this to finish it up. But I got this sewing kit secondhand and it has sparked inspiration in me. So I think I know what I'm gonna do now. I think I'm going to do the Hello Kitty and the sewing kit together so they match. My inspiration is kind of a pastel Christmas and kind of like the idea of a putz house. That's kind of what I'm going for here. So the colors are um, a little bit non-traditional but also still very mid-century. I'm really excited about this project. So, I just texted my friend and I asked, do you like glitter? <laughs> and they said yes. So, <laughs> I'm gonna put glitter on it. I'm so excited. It's gonna look really like a putt's house now. I seriously love how this turned out. Isn't it adorable? Okay, time for the glitter. I'm putting uh, Aileen's craft glue on and then I am using a foam brush to spread it around. So it looks like glitter landed on the house. And this really is like, like Putt's house inspiration. You know, uh, they have that chuck chunky glitter. Um, this isn't exactly that, but it's close. I have a piece of paper under it so when the glitter spills I can put it back in the jar. And I, I think this is the perfect touch to this project. I'm so excited she said she liked glitter. And I'm putting a little bit of the glitter on the Hello Kitty figurine as well so that she matches all nice. I think this turned out so stinking huge. Um, I hope my friend really loves it. So my next gift I'm getting ready, it's like a bunch of little things that I've put away over time for a friend who always gets me thoughtful gifts because gifts are her uh, love language. But what I don't want to do is I don't want her to feel like I decluttered onto her. Like that's a big thing for me. Um, because I work in resale and vintage, um, a lot of people look at us as a way to get rid of stuff. Um, oh, they'll resell it and they'll just send you stuff. Um, and that's just, it's, it's kind of a yucky feeling. So, um, but I, I was really intentional about these items, so I hope she loves them. I got this pie bird from Fat Bird Finds. I think it is perfect. These earrings I've been saving, they are the perfect color for my friend. This little lady was in my antique booth. She is perfect for the mystery box. And this corn can and this little cream colored deer bud base. I also got this at an estate sale this year. This is perfect too. And this is the last thing I am grabbing. It is a necklace that I made with book pages. And you can see how this all just kind of goes together. Well, most of it does, but it's going to create a great vignette. And I think it really feels like my friend and I hope they love this mystery box I'm curating for them. Okay, so I'm working on one last um, kind of like crafty project as a gift and he turned out so cute, so cute. So I'm sitting here watching Doll Inclusive with Kitschy Flower and Amy from Amy's Pop and Rock Shop and I'm like crafting a doll with them. I'll show you what I came up with. So is this little guy not the sweetest thing? Oh my goodness, I knew I wanted to do a custom doll for my friend. Um, and I just went with the Halloween theme because I love Halloween. 
so I just went with what I loved, but oh my god, it turned out so good! And I did some sewing, which I haven't done in a long time, so I love him. Okay, I am just filling out the last of the cards before they get mailed. It is Santa time, y'all. It is time to get this all mailed. We are at the post office with all my gifts for my vintage friends, um, with cards for vintage friends. Um, yep, and we are sending them all out. Okay, everything has been dropped off, my friends. I got a bunch of empty bags here, so we're good to go. Um, I will need to wrap gifts and such for my family, but I don't need to get them out this early. They don't need to be delivered. And I did have a few addresses that I got late, but I'll just send out some stuff over the week as we go. And yeah, hopefully everything gets there close to the Christmas time, holiday season, but if it doesn't, oh well, we're all resellers, we're all in vintage, we get it. And that's it, y'all. I hope you enjoyed this vlog. I, I thought, I hope you found it fun. Um, this definitely took me days and days and days and days to get everything done. So this vlog did not turn out the way I thought it was going to. <laughs> okay, y'all, stay creative and bye.